Fine, I'm just, I'm just here, I'm just chilling. What have you been doing today? What's, what's London been saying for pop culture? It's, it's all love, man. It's, it's, it's all good. Um, you know, London show pop kind of like a support still. This is good. I'm glad. I, I appreciate that still. I always be doing the good work that I've been doing also. Definitely. <laughs> Much love and respect to London. The, the, the whole UK still a matter of fact, you know? You've been in the UK uh, over the weekend. I saw you at the Gorillas uh, Festival, the Demon Days Festival in Margate. How often do you get to go to the seaside? Did you, just, did you get to chill by the, in the beach, by the sea, put your feet in the sea, no, relax? No. <laughs> what did you think whilst you were there? I was ready to go on the beach, it was almost time for me to go on the sea. Oh man, that's a shame. Yes. Did you do any traditional UK things? Did you eat the stick of rock that we had? Why? <laughs> that's such a shame, man. That's, I, I hope that I thought you were going to come there and it was going to show you a proper British UK seaside. Did you have candy floss at least? No, no. Did you go on any of the rides? No. Popcorn, what did she do while she was in Margate? I wasn't I wasn't there for for um for a vacation. I was there to work for But everything should be fun no matter where you go. You should always I, I bring was fun. having fun still. <laughs> well you didn't get to go on any rides. If you could have gone on one ride, which one would it have been? Because I know there was, there was quite a few. Would you go on the big wheel? No. The roller coaster? I wouldn't go on no rides. Helter no. Skelter? None of them. No. What do you do for fun? When you go to theme parks? Um, I don't really go to parks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I leave that to the park. Really? Going <laughs> 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 to a theme park so you can enjoy it properly. So tell me about what it was like. Is that your first time in Margate? Yeah, it was my first time still. Have you sp sat down with Damon um, a lot? Have you spent time with the Gorillaz Gang and the band? Or did you meet them on that day, perform your own um, set that you did obviously, and then you went on the stage with them as well? A little bit before the performance, um, not too long after okay. meeting me. Um, he, he, um, they may have a good energy still, you know, he's a good, good youth, you know. Since in Jamaica, he's is always um, trying to get popcorn and one of the gorillas fans, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, I was available this time, so I just. I want to say much, um, much respect to the gorilla still. Yeah, um, it was it was very nice working with the gorilla. It was a great experience for Papa. Um, that Sam definitely did a lot for that Sam music still. It's incredible, man. Gorillas over here in the UK are a huge band. Damon Albarn by himself, someone who um, is a big part of UK music. Like, obviously, you saw in the crowd the amount of people that were there. Um, the amount of people that turned up seven hours early just to be at the front and watch him perform. Tell me about what gorillas and that kind of music means to you growing up and where you grew up. Was that something that you guys heard a lot of where you were from? Did you know about sort of like the Oasis and the Blur and, and the bands like that in the UK? Or was this your first time encountering how big Damon is and how gorillas are in the UK? Well, um, I've, I've heard about the gorillas before, still, but uh, I've never spent enough time to okay. to do research and to do because I'm um, um, younger generation. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm kind of caught up in our young world still. Of course. I have enough artists still, I don't spend enough time to appreciate other people's music still, you know, so. Even now, a lot of people in Jamaica still don't spend enough time to research the gorillas. Mm. And, and I know that a lot of gorillas fans research popcorn, a lot of popcorn fans sure. research the gorillas. You know, so, um, it was, it was like, um, I was, I was in a spot where I have to um, step out of my, my, my genre for a bit, you know, and, get familiar with somebody else one time. Just like with David who do Afrobeats tune is like yep. we try for embrace music as much as we can in the world we can because there's a lot of talented musicians in the world and they just don't do dance and music, you know, or don't do hip hop music. There's a lot of music in the world still. Everybody has their own music mm -hmm. wherever they're from so 
it's always good to spend time and see what somebody has to say, no? Absolutely. And I have to say, of all the people that you were going to do that with, Damon Albarn, the rest, it's a great, that's a great choice because they understand music. Damon understands music, I'm sure. I would, yeah. Even if you didn't get to work with him in the studio, you just saw him on stage. The amount of instruments that he plays, the way he performs, yeah. like, he's a true musician. So I'm glad you guys got to do certain bars together. I'm glad you got to come out on the stage and perform that as well to the, to the audience that were there. So we're going to play it right now. This is Satin Bars, featured pop card. It's Gorillaz from the album Humans. Gorillaz in this. On Beats 1. Yeah, no. Perfect. Uh, cool. Right now, you are tapped into Beats 1 London. It's me, Julia. I know that I'm joined by Pop Khan in the building. He is here. We're talking about Gorillaz. We have to talk about dancehall music, and we should definitely talk about the fact that you're in the UK. Hopefully you've had a chance to meet up with other UK artists. Are there any that you've worked with before, that you'd like to work with again, or people that you've heard about, you know, their music, and you'd like to maybe get in touch with them and, and work with them in the studio on something different? Well, um, I know a lot of UK artists, and I'm a, I'm a fan of their music. It's not like I'm just sitting around and saying who's the next UK artist I want to yeah. do something with her. That's <laughs> yeah. my own thing to, to pay attention to. Absolutely, but yeah. Whatever will happen, it will happen in due time. And I, I believe in destiny, so um, whichever next um, major UK act I'm supposed to do a song, it will definitely happen. You know? I won't question God's will. Yeah, just make it flow. As an artist who really represents the sound of, of your home country, of where you come from, um, do you find it's different playing dancehall music, playing West Indian music around the world? Do you find that people, and what are the audiences like? Because there are some people that will play Afrobeat and to some places that's brand new music to them, you know? Or if you play grand music out of the UK or UK hip hop, that's brand new music to audiences. What's it like touring the world and playing shows as a dancehall artist? Do you still feel like there's work to do with your genre of music? Yeah, definitely. And um, here what is the problem with my journey? <laughs> um, too much crabbing and barring to me, you see me? These artists, they have this crabbing and barring mentality. Right? And don't try to build each other. Okay. Yeah, um, Jamaican artists always try to break each other. In which, um, I think if, if they um, actually take the music serious, um, for the sake of music, then can just. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon, guys, for more updates.